Only a week ago, the chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, at a meeting with heads of anti-graft agencies and labor leaders in Abuja, called for the support of Nigerians in diaspora for the recovery and repatriation of stolen funds. In that conference, Professor Ite Sagi listed how much of Nigeria's recovered funds are in foreign banks and called for a strong diaspora advocacy for their repatriation. Following that call, the Nigerian Labour Congress and the leadership of the International Trade Union Confederation are holding a conference to seek regional cooperation to curb illicit financial flows from Africa. Before going into technical session, the host, President of the Nigerian Labour Congress, explains why regional collaboration is important. The receiver countries are not willing, despite the fact that they know that this is a stolen phone. They are not actually willing uh, to part away with this. And that's why the issue of partnership, alliance, and joint action is very, very important. So we must work in alliance, especially African countries and African trade unions and African civil society organizations, to continue to demand more vigorously that this money also must be repatriated because both the giver and the receiver are guilty, and therefore they are also guilty of receiving stolen funds. Meanwhile, the National Coordinator of Sustainable Nigeria Movement is recommending a strict internal mechanism to monitor public funds. Before funds are released generally, there should be a document justifying the release of those funds, and there should be a follow-up to see how that document is being implemented or is being adhered to. It's not like asking for certain billions of naira for certain things and people divest it in, what, in their personal businesses. It is said that there are over $748 billion recovered stolen funds in Switzerland, United Kingdom, United States of America and the United Arab Emirates yet to be repatriated to Nigeria.